Hello everyone, this is Sir James, your virtual teacher. Welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa adding of dissimilar fractions. At ang ating objectives ngayon ay First, discuss addition of the similar fractions. Second, perform addition of the similar fractions. Lastly, reduce fractions to lowest term. Bago yan, ay balikan muna natin ang dissimilar fractions. Ano nga ba ito? Dissimilar fractions are fractions whose denominator are not the same. Sila ay mga fractions na magkaibang denominator. Halimbawa, 2 thirds and 3 fifths. Another example, 1 fourth and 5 sixths. Punta naman tayo kung paano mag-add ng dissimilar fractions using the shortcut way. Example, 1 fifth plus 2 thirds. 1 fifth plus 2 thirds. First step, cross multiply. 1 times 3, 5 times 2. So 1 times 3 is 3. 5 times 2 is 10. Next step, multiply the denominators. So we have 5 times 3 is equals to 15. 5 times 3 equals 15. Next step, add the numerators. So we have 3 plus 10 is equals to 13. Then copy the denominator, which is 15. Last step, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. So kung mapapansin natin, ng 13 over 15 ay wala ng common factor. So therefore, ang 13 over 15 is already in the lowest term. So our answer is 13 over 15. Next example, 2 6 plus 1 4. So 2 6 plus 1 4. Step 1, cross multiply. We have 2 times 4 and 6 times 1. Again, 2 times 4 is equal to 8 and 6 times 1 is equal to 6. So 8 plus 6. Next. Multiply the denominators. Our denominators, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Again, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Next step, add the numerators. So we have 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. Then copy the numerator which is 24. So we have 14 over 24. Next, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. So kung mapapansin natin ang ating fraction of 14 over 24 ay meron pang common factor. The common factor between 14 and 24 is 2. So we're going to divide 2 by the numerator and the denominator. So we have 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7 and 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So therefore, 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. So our answer is 7 over 12. 7 over 12 is already in the lowest term. Last example, 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 1 half. So adding mixed number, 3 and 2 fifths plus 4 and 1 half, step 1, Add the whole numbers. So our whole numbers are 3 plus 4. This equals to 7. Next step. Cross multiply. Cross multiply the fractions. So we have 2 times 2 and 5 times 1. So 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 5 times 1 is equals to 5. Next step, multiply the denominators. 
the denominator 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Next step, add the numerators. So copy the whole number which is 7, then add the numerators. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Then copy again the denominator which is 10. So we have 7 and 9 over 10. Last step, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. And kung mapapansin ninyo na ang 9 over 10 ay wala ng common factor. So kung wala ng common factor, ibig sabihin that the fraction is already in the lowest term. So our final answer is 7 and 9 over 10. Bago tayo magtapos, let's have our review on how to add the similar fractions. Remember, to add the similar fractions, first, cross multiply. Second, multiply the denominators. Third, add the numerators. And lastly, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. Paano naman mag-add ng mixed number? Remember, to add mixed numbers, first, add the whole numbers. Second, cross multiply. Third, multiply the denominators. Fourth, add the numerators. And lastly, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. Sana ay natuto kayo sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Hanggang sa susunod natin ulit video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat. Paalam!